Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. It's me, Kira B. So, lately I've been hearing a lot about someone named Chloe Ting, who apparently has some really amazing workouts that you can do. At first I kind of shrugged it off because I was like, I'm doing like two hours of walking a day. Like, I think that's enough. But then I was talking to a friend about trying something new and she recommended Chloe Ting. So I decided to check her out. I took a look at her website and I was really impressed by all the different kinds of workouts that you could do. So I decided that I wanted to make a video documenting documenting my progress doing the two week shred challenge. So that's what we're starting today. Yay! So to start off, I'm going to measure myself. I feel like this is probably a more accurate way of judging my progress rather than just weighing myself. So we're going to do that. So currently I'm feeling good and bad about my body, which is a little bit confusing, but basically I'm pretty happy with how I look, but I just want to lose about like five to seven more kilos and then I'll be happy with that. So <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to measure myself starting with the head. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we're going to be measuring my chest, my waist and my hips. We're also going to be measuring my upper arms and my upper thighs. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit reluctant to do this bit, but I'm gonna do it because I wanna show you guys what my body looks like before I do all these workouts. So hopefully we see some difference. So by the looks of things, my chest comes in at about 88 centimeters. So my waist seems to come in at about 69 centimeters. And then my hips. So from the looks of things, my hips come in at about 99 and a half. So my left inner thigh is about 59 centimeters. Is actually 58. Okay, yeah, no, 59 on this one. 59 on my left and 58 on my right. So it's about 28 on the right and then on the left, 26 and a half. I'm just gonna make sure I'm measuring from the same spot. Yeah, it's 28 on the right and 26 and a half on the left. What? Okay, cool. Let's see if we can make a difference. So, oh my scarf. Oh, just got it from the $2 shop. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, now that that's done, let's get started. Wow, <laughs> I am so tired. <laughs> That was a really intense workout. Today's workout was really good. This was only day one. It was pretty difficult. I am not gonna lie to you. It was quite windy today, which was pretty annoying for, you know, I'm, I was doing the whole thing on a yoga mat and the yoga mat was kind of like blowing up, but we got through it. Let's see how these next two weeks go. I'm looking forward to the end result. <laughs> All right, <sighs> let's do this. What's up guys, it's day two of the Chloe Ting's two week shred challenge.
Man, that was hard. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's day three. I am so, so sore today, but we're going to push through, we're going to do this workout, and we're gonna get those amazing results. day three. So in regards to difficulty, I would say that day two was actually harder than day three. And the reason I say that is because day two, I actually went to failure. I couldn't finish the third workout. And even though this workout was bigger, I still felt like I could do it. I was breathing through my exercises. I was keeping hydrated and it just felt physically easier, which I think is such a good sign that I'm improving, which is... It's not about it getting easier, it's about you getting better. Guys, it's day four and I don't really have much to say other than I'm less sore than yesterday, I'm doing something weird with my arms. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, that was day four. I really like that we're doing different things every single day because I am one of those people who gets bored of doing the same workout. I'm a little bit less sore today, so I was able to do the workouts a little more effectively. It was a good workout, it felt good. I can't wait for my rest day tomorrow though. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I did it. Let's keep going. Okay guys, so today is day six. I didn't film day five because day five is a rest day. So I just kind of hung out. I just did some editing and that's about it, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I woke up this morning and I did not want to work out today. I just figured, you know, I'll just sit and I'll edit and I'll go for a walk later or something. Like I just really did not want to work out today. But I got up, I got ready, and now I'm filming, and <laughs> here we are. It is day seven, we are halfway through this workout program and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did wake up this morning and once again, I did not feel like working out. I was like, ugh, please no. But I got up anyway, I put my gym outfit on anyway and we're doing this. going to show you guys a before and after on my body but I did want to show you guys a midway point as well so this is what I look like halfway through the program I'm feeling pretty positive about this program so far I'm really enjoying it as much as I can enjoy exercising <laughs> I will admit there are times where I feel really demotivated and I don't feel like working out, but it's just about pushing through and just keep going. This has been awesome so far. So, one week down, one to go. Let's keep going. Okay, so that was day eight's workout. I actually really enjoyed that. And I think just having something different to do today was really motivating for me because I was like excited to give it a shot. I actually really enjoyed doing the Ariana Grande workout. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be something like, you know, ooh, this is what Ariana Grande does to, to keep her abs. If you want Ariana Grande's abs and you gotta do this workout, but no, it was like, it was just a workout to Ariana Grande's song, Girlfriend. But yeah, so that was day eight. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because tomorrow is a rest day. Ha. I've got to go now because I have to go and make dinner and so dinner's gonna be late because I was too busy working out. Fitness is my passion. Fitness is a lifestyle. Ha. Done, awesome, cool. Let's go to day nine. 
Bye. <sighs> okay, I really don't want to work out today. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's, what day is it? Day 10? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's try to stay motivated. day 11. I have to say that out of all of the days that I filmed in like the past two weeks, I think this is probably the coldest day so far. What's up guys? It's me, Potato, and today is day 12. So it's day 13. As you can probably tell, I have no motivation. I did not have a very good sleep last night, so I'm pretty run down today, but I'm gonna go do it anyway, because we gotta. So that is day 13. We have one more day to go, I can't believe it's almost over because it feels like eternity. We're gonna do this, we're gonna get through it. I'm gonna be really proud of myself when I finish the challenge. All right guys, it's day 14. It's the last day of the two week shredder challenge and I'm so excited to get this workout finished. I woke up this morning feeling really, really good. I had some breakfast, I had some tea. I had a really good night's sleep last night. So hopefully this workout is a lot better today. Feeling motivated, unlike yesterday, I was feeling really tired and just not really interested in working out so the workout was a lot harder yesterday but hopefully today it's a lot better <sighs> okay that was the final workout for this program and I am so sweaty. Oh my god, maybe grey was not a good colour to wear today. <laughs> I'm gonna go have a shower and then we're going to just do an overview. We're gonna talk about how the workout was, how I feel that I went, everything like that. We're just gonna talk about all of it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is a poor choice of top to wear because if I bend down just a little bit, it looks like I have no clothes on. So... <laughs> Okay, so we have finally finished the Chloe Ting two week shredder challenge. I do have a few things that I want to talk to you guys about, but really quickly, we're going to go over my measurements. Let's go check out those results. <laughs> okay, so the first measurement we're going to look at is my chest. So we started off at 88 centimeters. And now we're at 90 centimeters, so that's cool. So next up, we're going to look at my waist. So we started off at 68.5 centimeters, and now we're at 68 centimeters, so that's pretty good. Next up, we're looking at my hips. So we started at 99.5 centimeters, and now we're at 99.5 centimeters. So yep, that's exactly the same. All right, so next up, we're looking at my left upper arm. So we started off at 26.5 centimeters, and we're ending it at 26 centimeters. So we've lost a little bit there. And after that, we're looking at the right upper arm, which started out at 28 centimeters and ended at 27. So my measurements may not have changed all that much, but I did gain one thing and that's knowledge. You can't really expect crazy good results in only two weeks. I wish it were possible, but it's really not. This kind of thing doesn't really happen overnight. Results take a lot of time and consistency, but overall, I still really liked the workout program. I think as far as home workouts go, it was a really good workout. I really did struggle with some of those exercises at first. I think my least favorite were probably the up and down planks and also that weird 
side crunch thing. That was really not fun. <laughs> really wasn't a fan of those at the start. However, I do think that I got a bit stronger. And once the two weeks were up, I definitely did find it easier to do the workouts, even the ones that I liked the least. That side plank crunches thing, not so much, but I did find the up and down planks a lot easier to do towards the end of the workout program. I think I've gained a little bit more strength in my arms and chest area, which is good. Also ab workouts was something that I did at the gym back when the pandemic wasn't around. So it felt kind of good to get back into doing those again. Some people did say that they felt like the music was quite annoying after the two weeks but I still felt like it was really motivating like it was really pumping and energetic and I just thought that was awesome so I didn't find the music that annoying it did kind of get stuck in my head a little bit but not a big deal I still enjoyed it I really liked that timer as well like knowing how long I had to do a workout for and then also knowing how long until I was almost finished with the workout was really great like being able to hear that beeping right before I had to finish was really motivating just to keep me going for that last couple of seconds and speaking of motivating I also really liked Chloe Ting's energy I thought it was really great how she'd just be like keep going you're almost done with the workout you've got five more minutes to go like that kind of thing I thought that was great because it just really kept me going which was awesome so I love her energy another thing that I really liked was how she provides low impact alternatives to some of the exercises like I thought that was really good for people who might struggle a little bit I do think it's really important that we remember that weight loss isn't just about exercising it's also about diet your diet is extremely important when it comes to losing weight I'm not a PT but it's common knowledge that a healthy diet and a calorie deficit is the best way to lose weight if you are wanting to have a look at how many calories you're consuming on a daily basis I would highly recommend my fitness pal I've been using this app for a few years now and I can tell you it's actually really helped me to stay on track with my calorie intake if losing weight is what you're after then this workout is fine while everyone's in lockdown and stuck at home but once everything opens up again I would highly recommend that you go to a gym and maybe speak to your trusted GP or a PT about weight loss there is a lot of really great weight loss information online but just make sure you're using trusted sources because there's also a lot of misinformation out there it is really important to remember that that although this workout program is great as a home workout, you can't expect maximum results in two weeks. I certainly was not expecting to get abs in two weeks and I did not and I definitely wasn't expecting to get my dream body in the same amount of time. When it comes to losing weight, it's all about consistency. I'll probably continue this workout program or try one of her other ones just until lockdown's over and I can go back to the gym. But overall, I'm satisfied. I think this is a great home workout for people who can't get to a gym. It's really convenient. I did also speak to a few PT friends and a few fitness enthusiast friends and just kind of asked them for a few names of people that they would recommend you guys following if you want to lose weight and I will leave that list here. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video and coming on this fitness journey with me. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Comment down below and tell me if you've had an experience with this workout program or if you're going to give this workout program a try now. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell button so that you get notifications every single time that I post. I love you all very, very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!